What's with the grill? Is it supposed to be a dough? <laughs> they've looked at the local mustard and they've gone, yeah, you know, we need that for a grill. Stuck that one. Uh, Last filler. Fracking. Fracking. I had to say it. No, f. Hello and welcome to Behind the Weekly. My name is Mohamed Haji. Saba Ali. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, this is a show that Saba and I do uh, every week where we talk about cars, car brands, um, basically everything to do with four wheels, I guess. Yeah. Uh, not Probably. motorbikes, just. Uh, no, not trolleys. No, no, not trolleys, no. Not yet, anyway. Um, who knows, maybe soon. So, I want to kick things off because obviously um, there's a lot of rightful attention um, on Palestine, Israel, and stuff, and you know, lots of the news. And um, I thought what would be a good idea is to bring in the car thing with the Middle East theme, right? Because, 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 because we have here a car from Lebanon, right? Uh, it's called the Kuds Rise. Uh, it is, I think, the first ever car to come from Lebanon. Um, a very, very rich guy thought he'd put his money behind Lebanon cars in Lebanon, made in Lebanon uh, by Lebanese people. Um, and it's fully electric, which is really interesting. Um, slight, well, before I go on to that, um, obviously, Doe and the Rock on the front. Um, kind of. The back reminds me of a, of, of, a, of a Veyron a little bit, slightly. Yeah, it looks like a, you know if you were to describe a Bugatti Veyron yeah. to a blind man? Yeah. That's how you draw it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably, um, probably. Yeah, I mean, it's just terrible. <laughs> I'm sorry. I agree. <laughs> but, 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 and it's a huge but, not, not literally. Um, I, I genuinely get very emotional about this because I just think that credit where it's due, right? Here's a man who's trying to genuinely do something for the Lebanese people, um, you know, at a time when the economy is doing pretty bad. I mean, used car sales are, well, actually, no, new car sales are going pretty, pretty bad, and they've been doing bad for the last year. Um, and we all know that Middle East and even Africa and certain developing parts of, of the world are reliant on imports. And here we have something which Lebanon might be exporting out into the world, which I think is quite noteworthy and I think worthwhile talking about. You know? uh, well, yeah, thank you for your uh, enlightening speech there. Anytime, um, anytime. You know, I feel quite guilty now because I was about to rip it apart and now I can't because... Because of me, yes, yeah, that's right. Um, no, it's a fantastic effort, well done. Lebanon. I saved you, Lebanon. Um, I'll send my, um, my invoice later for that one. But, yeah. Okay, go on. Pretend like I've never said that. Go on, let's let I mean, Saber off the hook. What's with the grill? Is it supposed to be a dough? <laughs> they've looked at the local mustard and they've gone, yeah, you know, we need that for a grill. Stuck that uh, I don't know where to start. Is it, a, it? It's a bit. It, it's curvy in the wrong place. I think that's 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 definitely true. Yeah. Why have they done that to seatbelts? No, I said it. I hate it when they do that. It's like when we have car balances here, and they, they do all the seatbelts. It winds me up. They do yeah. all the seatbelts in the back. Yeah. So Chris was like, "Oh, that looks nice. Go to get in it, and then it can't because the seatbelts are in the way." Yeah, I do. So think they've that. got to put all the seatbelts off. That is a bit and annoying. anyway, back on track. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I love the John Player special livery. You know, the gold and black, uh, I do like mm -hmm. that. Um, you know, very well copied golden doors from the SLS Mercedes. Um, it's, it's, it's definitely a, a, a mishmash of Well, yeah, they, they've stuff. taken various cars. Yeah. Um, so, if you know, they've taken the grill from a Bugatti or a Mosque. They take it back. <laughs> the headlights are off the new Honda, Honda Civic. Um, or, yeah, the wheels, um, don't know. you know, um, your Hot Wheels car. Yeah. Like from Tesco. Yeah. That's that. Yeah. Um, Goblins from the SLS. Uh, diamond quilted leather from, from you know, various Bentleys or Brothers and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, this sort of hit area here is very slavish. You know. Yeah, I have no I can't. Yeah. I can't. You know. There's not really much here that's going on for aero. Uh, I appreciate it's electric, so it doesn't need any intakes. Yeah. Such. 
seems to be a point next to it, that little that, well, that bit yes, stuff. Yes, it's it's just good. like, oh, there's a bit of space, let's just shove that on there. Yeah, you know? yeah. But like I say, you know, on the one hand, there are two billion Muslims in the world, and this is the best we can come up with. Uh, on the other hand, you know, it is from Lebanon, uh, and it's a remarkable feat of engineering to go from nothing, having never made a car before, yeah. to making something. So I mean, you know, yeah. Let, let's hope can. that this is the start of you know something. Okay. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, but anyways, uh, I mean, if you are interested in stats, uh, some of you are ridiculously crazy about stats. Um, they claim, is it true? Is it not? Go to 16 five seconds, 280 mile range, and roughly thirty thousand dollars. Uh, which is quite cheap actually. No, that's the first, it's refreshing to hear an electric car with somewhat attainable performance figures. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it sounds like, you know what, they thought, let's not make it like the three second mark, like all these Chinese people, mm. let's actually make it realistic. Yeah. Um, but for all the environmentalists out there, before you start to get really passionate and excited, and oh my God, it's the best thing ever since Lebanese bread. Um, no, I was thinking that. Oh, right, I can call if you are, <laughs> um, the one thing to note is obviously electric cars are powered um, by electric, crazy enough. However, um, in Lebanon, um, the electric charging station which they're building will be coming from fossil fuels. So basically they're, they're burning fossil fuels to create electricity to power this car. Oh, fantastic. Um, so, um, yeah, it's better that I want. I'm sorry. I, don't, I think that's the case for a lot of countries, even us. Yeah. You know, we have a load of coal mining stations, we, you know, we're starting with fracking again. Um, you know, a lot of electricity. Well, so, it. <laughs> no, fr fracking. <laughs> fracking. I have to say it. <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Fracking. Oh my god. Uh, I think they were being yeah, green clean, but actually not. So, sorry, better fun though. It's a better fun. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sorry, apologies. Um, on to the next bit, uh, which is Genesis. So it is the luxury arm of Hyundai. That's no, actually Hyundai and Kia. Um, so like Toyota and Nexus? A bit like that, yeah. Um, Genesis actually sold cars here for a very short time. Uh, so for, I, I actually worked for Hyundai for a very short stint in, in my early career. Right. And um, they introduced um, a SW of some sort. Yeah. Like and uh, it was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was really nice. It reminded me of a ten-year-old Lexus. It was like sort of a Lexus what it was ten years ago. So I'm a bit behind the times from that point of view. Um, so I can old school big, you know, three point six, three point yeah. six. Yeah. Um, and it was nice. Um, it did sell very well, you know, yeah, which was predicted. And they left the country. Okay. Um, and they they they've done very poorly in Europe, right. but they do very well in America and China. Oh. So they want to reintroduce the brand into Europe again. Oh. And they're going to bring two cars to this country. Uh, so as if you could overlay, uh, yeah. the new Genesis Saloon, yeah. uh, which I've forgotten the name of already. I only looked at it. it. It has some weird name. It's like, like G70. Yeah. Again, another, why manufacturers? Why do you pick these four names that no one knows? Why is it called G80? G70? <laughs> like, you know, pick a good name. And yeah. you've got like Genesis, Genesis. Got a, we've copied it's a great start, Genesis. Genesis. Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, we've copied Aston Martin. Yeah, that is the logo yeah, or mini, right. which yeah. is fancy, yeah. uh, or Ben. Um, yeah, and they're bringing the saloon, which will start at thirty-seven thousand yeah. pounds, and again to rival the BMW 5 Series, uh, the E Class, the Kia Stinger, that sort of ilk. Um, that's sort of the more boring stuff. I'm not really interested in saloons anymore. What's the big news is the GX70. Oh, forgive me if I'm wrong. Why we wrong? The new SUV. That looks great. Oh, yeah. Uh, luxury SUV, it's going to be around 57 grand, big juicy V6 and a hybrid. Um, oh. It should be launched in high and high showrooms, but only some, not all of them, yeah. not all of them are good enough. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sceptical, I'm sceptical. I, I mean, I think they're going to struggle because of... Because yeah, yeah, they're not going to sell any cars, I thought it was just interesting to talk about. Yeah. Use car sales, yes, this is my uh, area of... Well, uh, I, I do, I sell, for those who don't know, I sell new and used cars, uh, specifically Alfa Romeo and Jeep and... I just wanted to do sort of, um, sort of, uh, you know, debunk what's going on with used cars right now. Because if you're in the market, you'll you'll very much find that it's so hard to buy a car at the moment. Um, if you're a dealer, uh, and also how much used cars are fetching um, at this moment in time, there's never been a better time to sell your car right. because car values going like that. Um, you know, there's there's a huge huge. Why is that? 
demand. So, of course, over the last year, there's been no demand for cars, yeah. uh, or very reduced demand. A lot of yeah. garages, especially the big PLCs, they all yeah. just shut down completely, put everyone on furlough, yeah. cut back on spending, um, and therefore just shut down an operation. So used car sales really, really floundered. Um, and then all of a sudden, April, April 12th, all the dealerships fully open again, yeah. everyone can go for test drives, um, the restrictions are, are much, much more eased. Um, you know, unless you're an Indian, in which case, I'm lucky. Uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> so everyone is now out and about test driving yeah. cars, buying cars. The demand is huge. Um, it's also slightly driven by um, the lack of new cars availability. So there's a massive shortage of new car availability. If you walk in and say, I'd like to buy an Alfa Romeo Julia Quadrifoglio, yeah. uh, I'd say no. Really? Yeah. No. Can't buy them. Wow. It's not available. Because, because production just stopped. Again. Production's, production's uh, diet. Um, that's just to do with supply issues that's going on at the moment, but more to come on that next week. Yeah. So plug in. Uh, um, so used cars that was, is blown up at the moment. There's record numbers. It's 20% up from last year, wow. which is that remarkable increase. So we've never seen a, a spike that big yeah. you know, for, for decades. Um, you know, last From 2018 to 2019, for example, the growth was like 4 or 5%. Yeah. You know, and that was considered huge. Um, you know, to go up twenty percent is unheard of. You know, it's never ever happened before. So what's happened is garages are trying to go to auctions and various other places to source their cars to buy it to sell on, and it's just impossible. You know, we're going to auctions and we're getting outbidded by everyone. Uh, wow. You know, the, the the cars are selling for more than what we'd put them on the forecourt for. Wow. That's how brutal the car industry is yeah. at the moment. So um, yeah, used car sales are massive. Um, you know, if you're looking to sell your car, do it now. Yeah. do it now because you'll never get more for your car right now. Yeah. I know some customers who sort of made money on their own car after wow. owning it for one or two years, um, which is remarkable, you know, it's unheard wow. of. Um, so yeah, there, there's loads of, loads of factors driving it. One is obviously everyone's out back on the road again, yeah. but also the lack of new car availability, people are going to nearly new instead. You might as well go for that. Yeah, yeah. Than wait. yeah do absolutely. a top party and just basically, um, yeah. Buy it, buy it, sell it. Yeah. Exactly. yeah, so there's a new startup called Kazoo, which is like an online. I've heard of Kazoo. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like an online only car supermarket. Yeah. So you can't go to see the car, you can't test drive it. Yeah. You go online, you just look at the pictures, they, just, they show you photos of all the imperfections, yeah. um, and you just buy it, and you get a 14 day money back guarantee. I've heard about this. Yeah, yeah. so uh, you get the car delivered to you on, a, on the back of a truck. Um, these are what? Yeah. Used cars? These are just used cars, yeah, yeah. purely used cars. Um, there's, there's dealers buying cars from Kazoo no to put on their own floor. That's how, that's how much the cars are going by. And with big retailers like Kazoo and Cinch, they're so massive yeah. that they're slow to react. Yeah. So what we've done on our forecourt, every used car on our forecourt, we put up by £500 oh, wow, because okay. they've got up in value. Yeah. And uh, there's so much more demand. Yeah. Uh, Kazoo haven't because they've got, a, like, they've got like 3,000 cars in stock. They, can't, they haven't got the admin to change yeah, the price of every single car. So they're selling too cheap. Yeah, and then yeah, so yeah. We, we, we just buy them from them. Nice, so they're fully prepared cars, fully serviced, fully yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, uh, safety inspected, all that kind of stuff. Put them before, but brilliant. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, you want to yeah. sell your car? Now's, yeah. now's the right time. Now's the right time. Um, I think we reached the end of the show. Well, actually, uh, obviously, massive competition, huge giveaway. Uh, it continues. Uh, Amazon vouchers are available. Uh, tag, comment, share, do the usual social media stuff. Um, and we shall see you for next week for next week's episode. Cheers, guys.